Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how big the sin of lying is. In Surah Al-Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about a certain lie that inshallah we will mention a little bit later in this talk. Then Allah says, كَبُرَتْ كَلِمَةً تَخْرُجُ مِنْ أَفْوَاهِمْ إِنْ يَقُولُونَ إِلَّا كَذِبًا Allah says, what a big statement has come out of their mouths. What a dangerous statement. How serious is the statement that has come out of their mouths. They are indeed uttering falsehood. May Allah protect us from falsehood. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the fact that it is a sickness. Lies is a sickness and it will continue to grow. If it is not clipped and nipped in the bud, if a person does not repent and leave the bad way and habit of lying and being false, then Allah says it will continue and it will become a disease in the heart. It will be impossible for a person not to lie at a certain stage. And this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of in Surah Al-Baqarah. But before we speak of that, let me inform you that a person becomes enslaved by lies. When someone utters a lie, they become a slave of that lie and then they become shackled in the lie and they don't know whether to move right or left. They are cornered and they've got to lie a million and one times in order to come out of that one lie. Subhanallah. And for this reason, it is important that we free ourselves from lies because truthfulness is what will save you. To be honest and to be truthful is what will save you in the dunya as well as in the akhirah and is what will save myself as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in their hearts is a sickness and Allah will increase for them that sickness if they don't turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says for them will be a severe punishment because of their lies. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from lies. Then Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala that when a person lies, a liar has certain qualities. What are some of the qualities of a liar? The first thing they always swear big oaths when they are telling you some small information. Allahu Akbar. I swear, I'm telling you, I can touch the Quran for you. I can do this for you. Oh Wallahi, Billahi, Tallahi. They will tell you, I swear by Allah. I swear by this and by that. And yet they are lying to you. May Allah protect us. One who is truthful does not need to say that. Everyone will know this man is truthful. If he tells you there is a fire there, he's got to say, you know what? There's a fire on that side. The world will listen and the world will already take it as an instruction. May Allah protect us. But when a man cries wolf, wolf every time, the day there is a real wolf, nobody will come to his assistance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never make us from those who lie. So a liar, one of the signs is they swear by Allah and still they are lying. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah at tawbah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they will take a qasam, they will swear an oath that if we could, we would do this and we would do that. But Allah knows that they are liars. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us from those. In Surah Al-Mujadala, the Prophet, uh, Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of a certain incident. And then he speaks about those who lied in the dunya. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَحْلِفُونَ عَلَى الْكَذِبِ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ When they are lying, they will actually swear an oath knowing that they are lying. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. That is a big crime. Imagine to use the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to tell a lie. If a person really wanted to tell a lie, which is very bad even without using the name of the Creator, the minimum is they shouldn't use the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that lies is a form of hypocrisy. And if a person does not repent and leave lies, it will become hypocrisy that will be continuous in all other deeds. Why is lies hypocrisy? Because the interpretation of hypocrisy and nifaq in Islam is izhar ma laysa fil batin To show apparently that which is not inside. So that's a lie. The person's entire existence would be a lie. That's a hypocrite. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that because a certain group of people had lied. Allah says, we wrote against their names and in their hearts, hypocrisy until Qiyamah, and we will not guide them. 